Hey there, fellas. Alright, so we've done a bunch of wheel-related stuff on this channel, like wheels and hubcaps, and today we'll be making such a wheel... It's something we've never done before. I haven't even seen anything like it. So I got the idea by looking at a picture of a motorcycle that drives on this one gigantic wheel. We'll be doing something very similar in principle with this wheel right here. We should be able to make this compact spare look really nice. So the plan is, we're going to be fitting it with three bearings. Something tells me that the finished item is going to look frickin' epic. Now, I've already begun work. I've cut out the middle somewhat prematurely, I have to admit. But no worries, I mean, at least now I've got a centerpiece. And I've got a lathe, so we can machine everything to get it all nice and even. And so now we just have to cut the centerpiece out of this here wheel and uh, do some cutting, welding, assembly. I guess we'll end up with something reminiscent of a star, or how do I even call it? Like a half spider on bearings? That'll spin within this wheel? <laughs> I really don't know what the right name would be. So let's go ahead and put all of this together. I mean, I'll do the work while you watch. Let's do this. Making a wheel with a centerpiece on bearings. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Alright fellas, here's how this interesting wheel is turning out so far. The wheel... I've left just the rim. We cut out the center. It's all very nice, we've ground it down. And we've machined us this wonderful guide thing. It's gonna be... placed right here. We will quite obviously be fastening it somehow, welding it in place. And here we'll have three bearings. This is how we are going to have these placed. And after we get the entire assembly in here, we'll make us three spokes. Right, let's carry on with assembly. I reckon that as soon as we're done putting all of this together and spraying on some paint, the final piece is going to look sick. All right then, time to carry on. Okay, fellas, check this out. We've got all the main components. We've welded and painted everything we needed to. Right here you see our lovely wheel. You can see that the rim we machined now lives inside. It's welded in. If I can just show you, we decided not to paint anything on this side so that you could get a better view. See this? We got the ring into position and spot welded it all around. Inside we are going to have these three nice-looking spokes. They are going to be sporting axes that will hold the bearings in place. The bearings themselves, they will be placed inside a slot. We will have quite an interesting design going. Now there is just the matter of putting all of this together. 
to then give it a spin and just look at this thing in action. Plus, we'll check to see how precise of a job we've done, though I feel that we were quite careful in our calculations. So yeah, I gather this should be perfect. So here we have the wheel. It looks pretty neat. Here you can see the centerpiece. Like I said, it's going to rotate. The hub, I mean. And the wheel is also very much free to spin, with the hub staying in place. So there it is. Fun stuff. We don't seem to have any play. That's all good. It's staying put. Now we do intend to install this up front. So you can imagine what'll happen when we apply the brakes. One wheel is going to break, but this one, not so much. It'll just continue to roll. This meant I had to find a car with a working handbrake. You know, just in case. Right, we'll be throwing this onto here and heading out. Okay, we are looking really good here. That wheel looks super cool on there. The only thing that I'm not really about is that wheel spacer. As you can see, we had to put a spacer on there. You see, a normal wheel would be shaped in such a way as to give you enough clearance, while here the hub was crossing paths with the brake caliper. The nuts on that side were on the bearing axes. The guys are teasing me for my driving skills. Okay, we're moving. So far, so good. I do hear some knocking. Something tells me... that the spacer... ain't thick enough. I take it those nuts... are touching the... Now I'm braking. So in theory, right now it ain't supposed to be spinning. The centerpiece, I mean. Though I don't know for sure. And so now I release the brake. Yep, looks like that's the case. I can hear it knocking. When we mounted it and spun it up, it wasn't doing that. That is very interesting. I should head back and inspect it. Carefully inspected to find the cause of the issue. Flipping around. At first, it was a bit. I can't say I was scared, but I didn't quite know what to expect. Okay, so right now I stepped on the brake. You can hear the bearings rubbing. Well, we do have metal-on-metal metal action, yum. Yeah. We don't have any sort of plastic in there. That would have made the whole thing softer. Yep, the knocking comes right back as soon as I release the brakes. But when I give the pedal a slight press, it seems to have disappeared. Cool. I mean, I guess. Wouldn't I like to have a look and see it go? So now I break the good news. The nuts are hitting the caliber, yeah? It comes and goes. Uh-huh. So if you take a look, you'll see that it's barely, but coming into contact. Okay, so we've slightly ground the axes down with an angle grinder. And we're still getting that noise. Hear that? I do not know why it's doing that. Don't 
dort? Yeah, that's it. There are no other options. That has to be it. So even after a bit of packing, you've still got it. And even then it sort of just comes and goes. You know what I think? It might be that the three... The three spokes I made... Maybe that's them bending? No, that can't be. Then again, I mean... They might be bending slightly. But not to this degree, right? I guess we should have fitted another 5 mil spacer in there. Or done some more hacking. It doesn't matter anymore. We can see how it all works anyway. And it is looking fantastic. I keep having to lean out of the car to have a look. You can let go of the brakes. It's not rotating. Okay, there it goes. This looks super cool. Okay, fellas, so we've installed it onto the rear axle now. It's all looking pretty good. Now, if we were to install these at all four corners, well, the car... It ain't gonna stop, if it even gets rolling. And then again, it's not going anywhere either. Theoretically, they should all just spin. I mean, the inner bits should just begin to spin around. Right, let's give this a try. See what happens. Okay, I can hear something rubbing. Is it the spacer, or what's going on? That's weird. We did use a lathe to make that, so it should be good. Why the wobble, then? Is it on crooked? Try the other way. Stop. And there you have it. Nothing is happening. The car is just standing there, and the inner bit is a-spinning. Where's that knock coming from? What's happening? Yeah, we can waste a couple of dozens of liters of fuel just standing here in one place. All right then. So the car is just sitting there unable to move forward. Nothing's going on. The hub is just spinning and that's the end of that. The axle shaft to the brake drum and the centerpiece of our wheel. And that's it. Everything else ain't moving. Which was to be expected. Okay, fellas, that does it for this wonderful experiment. The wheel itself is looking super sharp. Looks really good. All right, fellas, that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe. Try this. Send in those comments and suggestions. Give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.